back to part three of my Valkyrie the Bloody Let's Play. To the War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. I've added in some of your unit name suggestions to Valkyrie the Bloody's army. So, we'll go through those first and then we'll crack on with the gameplay. Do keep those unit name suggestions coming on part one of the series. That way, they're all in one place and nice and easy for me to find. I have also kind of put some placeholder titles for both Cormac and Tim. I asked at the end of the last episode, but I'm recording this before that one's gone out. So, you guys won't have had a chance uh, to submit suggestions for that. So, I'll update those uh, next episode part four that will be out on tuesday so uh, for cormac i've given him the blood hearted for now as a title i quite like that uh tim the bloody enchanter feel free to tweet that he's a he's a law of fire but well let's stick to the bloody theme there then for our chaos warriors we've got corn's bloody legion the blood reavers of corn the gore queen's warriors the marked marauders seers of sanguine the bloody beards axes of the gore queen the butcher horde of khan the uh, Reavers of the North, Knights of the Brazen Throne, a regiment of renown. We don't change their names. The Bloody Doom Riders, the Dread Axes. I've called the Dragon Ogre Shagoth Dave. Dave the Dragon Ogre Shagoth. Why not? <laughs> and then the Bloodhounds of Valkyr. So there we go. We'll obviously add in some more units and more names um, as and when we get them. Uh, let's spend these skill points. Oh, Valkyr. Awakened. We've got your blade shield there. Do you want more health? Might help. Kind of building you into a bit more of a, a tank. Um, we don't. We do have armor, actually. We can boost our armor eventually when we come back through that. We're going to want to go through this, though, as well. Crew rank plus one for Chaos Marauder units, all armies. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, we're not recruiting other armies just yet. But we've got blade shield. Yeah, okay. Let's go through here. And then what have we got? Queen of the Schwarzwolf. Allegiance. Points gained plus 25% for alliances and vassalage with Norska. Plus uh, 35 diplomatic relations with Norska. A tribute. Vanguard deployment for Chaos Marauders. Chaos Warriors and Chosen. Damn. That's nice. Risen again. Wound recovery time and vigor loss reduction. Scorn the Coward. Ambush defense chance and physical resistance. Passability. Wrath of Corn. Uh, affects units if casting. Okay. Then we've got Blood Raven, which is income from post battle and income from raising settlements. I mean, they're all really good. I think we'll go for let's go for the Queen of the, of the Schwarzwolf for now. That's pretty. We'll just work our way through them. Maybe go for Scorn the Coward because that yeah that explosion duration one second radius three. Range just 60. It's a passive ability though, isn't it? Thanks, units. If they, so it just hits spellcasters, basically. And what's the cooldown? 15 seconds. So it should just keep on hitting them, right? So throw her at a, uh, a spe enemy spellcaster. Greater killing ability. Because they don't like spellcasters and we'll just ignore Tim. We'll just, he's fine. He's a, he's a bloody enchanter. <laughs> Tim living dangerously here. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, this one is... Okay, a separate one that locks out and picks some stuff. Hellblade. I kind of feel like we've got to go for that. If you go for Chaos Gladiator and then that one, damn. that's um, You can really make some tanky, exalted heroes. Corn Authority. I don't think we need to worry about having that in there. Let, yeah, let's go for the Hellblade. Vengeful Scorcher. Definitely. Let's give you that. That's pretty cool. So it's just, it's infinite and it's enabled if more than 80 kills. Wow, that's a solid buff. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. That is fine. Uh, it's got that one. Win, three battles with chosen units in your army. Okay. And you yeah, don't need to worry about the other bits. Tim, 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 Tim. We are not going to... That's spreading that corruption. That's fine. We've got Mage's Influence up there, which also just kicks in anyway. The war shrine is what I'm quite looking forward to him getting, actually. Go through fireball and then burning head. Excellent. Right. We need to pop in some more units as well. I think we can also upgrade some weak. more orders as well. The weak always die. Um, some trolls. We can make them armor trolls, can't you? There's no My marked power trolls. Is beyond anything you can resist. Do you have more flesh hounds? Apparently got that one 
enabled, haven't we? We did lose. We lost our blood letters. So we could shift on over to get more of them. Warn you. I'm going to switch. How many souls do I have? I'm going to switch on over, actually, to Violent Hunger. Passive ability Blood Greed for all units with a mark of corn. Effect intensifies. Um, it effect intensity increases with each kill made by the unit. And unit experience gain. Yeah. Let's do that. Throw that in there. That one we've got the Raiders one, haven't we? Yeah. It's just super useful. So yeah, do that. Uh, we'll do. We'll chuck one more of those in there. Comes for you. Although we do have a fair bit of cavalry. And I've got them. Mm, no, actually, yeah, I won't chuck them in. I will just go for three more Marauders then. I crave the flavor of your freshly removed hearts. But I can mark you guys straight away. So what I'm going to do is go weak. for the weak one more regular Marauder. Die. And then have you guys as dual axes. And then you guys... I was going to go for halberds. Yeah, that still works. It's bloody beards. We'll keep the names. It kind of shows where they started. Um, Axe the Gore Queen. You're not high enough level yet. You guys are, though. And I did kind of want to keep the dual axe going a little bit. Let's take those two, make them dual axes, upgrade them. So yeah, those are our new ones that we've got and one was underleveled. Compared to the others, you guys can upgrade Chosen of Corn and Dual Weapons Chosen. They just get the shielding. It's literally the armor is the same, we just get a shield. Yeah, so I might go for quite a lot of dual weapons actually. And we got up to Chosen. We make some of them Chaos Knights as well, so we'll probably... Uh, I mean, we've got two of the Skull Takers. We'll upgrade a few more. We might take one more, or we can just wait for this Cavalry unit to upgrade. To rank 4, what does it need? Rank 8 to get up to those. Yeah, let's see if we can keep it alive long enough. <laughs> Lionheart keeping Cav alive. <laughs> stop Save it, stop it. Oh, you're making me laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. If you can't laugh at yourself, what can you do, eh? The right, that queen. army's all good. We'll go hit the Black Pillar. We'll take it as well because it's got dies. Um, Hargeneth. I probably will just raise that one again for more souls. Just keep our soul generation going. We are actually uh, losing income a little bit. So we need to upgrade here. Yeah, we can do that. Give us enough. We want to go grab that Dark Fortress. But we want to make sure we also know where the Dark Fortress is to then uh, vassalize the Ag Hole because we don't want to wipe them out. Um have seen there is a bit of a bug in my Bellacore campaign. Uh, I've reported it to CA and they've come back saying they're aware of it and it's been logged as such. But um, if a faction is... If a Norse good faction is already dead, they don't quite come back properly if you um, restore them, essentially, via occupying and vassalizing a dark fortress somewhere. We're not going to lose anyone here, are we? No. Unrelenting murder! So it's best to avoid... Well, if you if you do take it, because obviously you don't want to miss out on the Dark Fortress, uh, just know that it might spawn in an army of that now... of that dead Norsegun faction. Or if they've been confederated and no longer exist on the map as such, that can also happen. They can kind of come back, but they don't come back properly. So from what I've seen, they're essentially just kind of a dead... Uh, dead AI that just just sits there basically uh, and doesn't know what to do with itself uh, but I don't think from what I've been told it's not kind of game breaking from what I've experienced so far with the mortal empires it's pretty darn stable it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like there's any progression blockers um, obviously it is in beta is so not surprised that there's bugs like that um, but my main my main thing to reach out to CA about was sort of to say is that going to be a problem for the campaign going for going forward because obviously we don't want to have to we can help it restart it or you know uh lose any progress and things like that so yeah it should be fine but yeah i just want to keep you guys aware if i do make some not sort of like not direct choices with taking norskin settlements it's just to optimize and to avoid any issues cropping up with norskin factions that may have been wiped out so yeah we want to we want to avoid wiping out the egg hole 
if we're going to vassalize them later on, basically. Uh, I don't know if it happens every time, but it's just what I've seen in my Bellacor campaign. Yeah, so we're going to save up for that one. That's fine. Go hit that army next. Hopefully, the Frozen City is the egg hole vassalization uh, settlement. Then we need to turn back around here and deal with Grumbrindle, the ancestral throng. Right, yeah, just end the turn. That's all we can do. They've got uh, a little small force down there. Small little garrisons. But we should be okay. We should be okay. Okay, they move that army over there. They're supporting that one. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to attack that one outside and draw them all out into one big bloody battle. The gods. And Tim gains a steed. Lovely. Mistress of skulls. And we're going to give you weakness to fire damage, troops on spell cast. Takes all enemies within range. That is across the whole map, isn't it? We, uh, that, that actually, I mean, that does kind of synergize nicely because Valkyrie herself has got fire damage. Woman. As does Cormac. I think I think if we if we had to have a sorcerer, as long as they're fiery, that's fine. Oh, can I not reach that army outside? Doesn't look like it. Visions predict attack someone we're going to be attacking walls consort of corn why am i not at full movement have i been hit what's that all about sword maiden of the blood god the road to carnage definitely can't reach that one there what i'm going to do is just move I want to still be replenishing. The flavor of your Is it because of, hearts? like, that's an awkward bit of terrain to go through? It doesn't look like it. Press on. Uh, if I ambush near them, they can apparently see me. Hell go over here. Me. Ah, damn it. The Gore Queen. Carnets awakened. No, I've moved too far. Rats. The master commands. Find the fight. Definitely want to replenish, so we'll just stay here then. What they is might go back course? up to the bloody pillar, so I'm not gonna. I don't have the money to rebuild that anyway. Despoiled. It's fine. Uh, could you please occupy the great arena next? I'll grab a load of territory. Are you? I say, are you guys actually able to rebuild those? Gives you a little bit of income, so we'll start improving things a little bit. But you guys earn very, very little. You've got Grumbrindle to think about as well. Right. In the turn, they might Even go up to the Black here, Pillar. It's fine. Oh, no, they've gone past me to Spite Reach. Okay. That's fine. Do we want to fight it to weaken any of them? Unit of Chaos Warrior is going to be pretty solid. Mm, with all these Dark Shards, they'll just rain death upon us. They've just sacked it. Perfect. That's fine. We're at tier 1 anyway, so there's not a huge amount of damage you can do. Perfect. I'm surprised you guys went there knowing I'm right here. But okay. They've... Uh, Little, little blood blood drunk there. You've moved and taken that one. Good, good, good. The goddess Take nutrition. That damage can easily be repaired. Right, Valkyrie. Let's smash. They're probably going to run. Yeah. The glory. Facilities in this city are damaged, my lord. Yes, I am aware. <laughs> the facilities are indeed damaged. Reforged right, attack murder. this one. Draws in the other one as reinforcements. Don't actually need to fight it, but I want to unleash Valkyrie, so in we go. Also, because I don't know if we'll have another battle this episode if we don't have this one. Let's just use it to have some fun. Unleash our new 
upgraded marauders that are now true warriors of chaos. Let's see how they butcher our foes. Oh, thank God. That this is great. I guess they've already deployed out. I was like, oh. Do that. For chaos. Chaos warriors. Axe You guys that. Wolfathers warriors. Send the cavalry around that way. Actually have those two together. Because they're both vanguards. Dave. The Dragon Ogre. Good Dave. I don't fail. Yeah, yeah, them together. In fact, have you three together. Dave's the personal guardian of Tim. The bloody. The queen. Send us straight in. Sort of range would we need on that? Yeah, go for it. Get them ready there. In you go, Valkyrie. Fireball. Oh, it hit them instead. Fair enough. Nice. Enemy Surely got to be some pretty horrific damage. Where's Dave? Come on, Dave. Here they come. Valkyrie gets straight in against that Supreme Sorceress. Then the troops in. Cavalry. In you go. Moving. And I get a burning head through there. Yes, I can. Charge. Dave. Get stuck in. Let the blood flow. Decisive. Now we lost 61. Just, it just doesn't feel right if we don't spill some blood personally now and then. Suffice to say, I've got the blood last. And it feels good. Also, I liked all the comments on part one. I was reading through some more of them yesterday. 
uh, where I was asking that one, it's like, oh, well, uh, looking at the Marauders beards, going, oh, what, oh my god, what your what product do you use? They look amazing. And everyone, all of you guys are like, they use blood, Lionheart. They use blood. <laughs> also, quite a few of you say you should start your own line of, of beard products. I'm not sure I'll use blood, though. I don't think that's allowed. But Lionheart beard products? Hmm. Interesting idea. I like it. Uh, we could do replenishment, but no. Souls for the soul throne. Into the pious. Mm. Cute. Potion of toughness. Ooh. Yeah, that ain't bad. What have I currently got? Um, Blossom's Amulet. Ooh, what's that? Magical attack, duration, infinite effect range, cooldown. An area. Is that just Blasphemous Amulet? That's pretty good, isn't it? And Potion of Toughness would be quite good, actually, for her getting stuck in combat. She's already got... Magical attacks, impugment of magical attacks, effect range 55, cooldown 60, but its duration's infinite. So how does that work? That's surely just all the time, isn't it? Um, Potion of Toughness. Sorry, I double clicked. Yeah, Potion of Toughness on there. And then let's go Mistress of format skulls. and give you that one. And then Tim Bring can have the Feather Toe Hulk. We'll gain some skills queen. again. Gain two more levels. Gotta gain loads of XP. Um, we will go for Scorn the Coward. Actually, yeah, going after Dark Elf Casters, that should... Uh, pretty good. We've got to wait for them to cast, though, don't we? Uh, Risen again. Won't worry about that. You'll go for Blood Raven. Rank 15. So she's going to get that now. That quest battle is going to be issued. Well, unless it's a multi-stage mission woman. one as well. Right. Cormac. Bloody Blade. Uh, I was thinking about putting you on foot as well. I'm I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's necessarily the best idea. But I just I love the idea of him swinging around axes on foot. I think that's cool. Oh, and yeah, Tim. Tim, Tim, Tim. Um, yeah, Impugment. That's all going to synergize quite nicely for us, I think. Consort Killed in battle. Lovely. Gave us a nice bit of loot so we can repair that. And, oh, God, that's expensive. I'm. That's. That leadership from Marauder Horseman. That's not actually that vital. That one's melee attack for Marauders faction wide. Mistress of Skulls. It's quite nice. Yeah, they're not actually as powerful now that we've upgraded them in terms of their attack, but obviously their, their armor is insane. Reforged for murder. Can I go here and am I just in range to raid them? I am. Let's do that. Harganeth, your garrison ain't that strong. Should be a nice easy order resolve. Need a replenishment right now. And then yeah, we'll pop that in next turn. Skip that for now. Um, the Mung. Yeah, you're taking that one. Then I'll tell you to go take Korak. Oh, no, it's me taking by the egg hole. Oh, damn. Okay, that's fine, actually. Just means when I vassalize the egg hole, even better. Although, for the egg hole, I do want to take that dark fortress off them because that's the only way for us to get decent income, basically. My paramour calls. But what gifts await me in his realm? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Carry out, devour his soul. Carry out a successful assassination attempt. We will kill following character. Okay. That's not part of the... That's the quest battle, isn't it? Occupy the settlement. Yeah, that's the wrong thing to show up. That's like the confederation banner. Here we go. The spear... Flumpnir. Who are we facing? Skaven. Reinforcements expected. The Gore Queen. Yeah, it needs to be in a normal stance. For the Blood God. Um. I mean, I don't know. I probably should wait until these guys are all Chaos Warriors, and then I think I'm going to go for it. I don't think I don't want to wait too long to do this. I mean, that Help It Abomination is nasty, but we've got the. Um. Halberds, so I'll probably get one more of them. But yeah, we'll do that sooner rather than later, I think. Uh, 
That is all the way over here. That's at the burning monolith. Of course it is. Oh, is that sea lane there? Ah, forgot about that. The boiling sea. Two turns. Where? Maybe I should send a, uh, an agent through that. Just to kind of explore that a little bit. We could send a sorcerer. Can't get exalted heroes yet. We need to get that lodge in there. But then, uh, see, what are the... Be blood. Spread corruption, block army. It's probably better to send the exalted hero through. I'm assuming we could send heroes through. Yeah, any lord or hero. Yeah, let's do that and find out where that comes out. You can resist. Is that actually the place that says it comes out at? Boiling Sea. Broken lands, boiling sea. Is that all the way over here or is that like a drop down to like down here or something like that? Far sea. I'm trying to look at. I see it through the map. Sea of Dread. The Jade Sea. Where's the boiling sea? Sea of Malice. Bleak Sea. Sea of Squalls. The Great Ocean. Boiling Sea. Where's that? Is that? It must be up over here, surely. Strait of Chaos. Frozen Sea. Probably gone over it and you guys are like, it was right there, Lionheart. Sea of Storms. Celestial Lake. I don't think it's like over here, maybe. We'll find out eventually when we send a hero through. Right, we have that mission to take out you are weak. The that weak character there. Die. How many more um, battles are you in? Two more. Raise and sack. I need sack some settlements for the demon shield yet. Yeah. woman. Violence is inevitable. Here we go. Didn't quite work. Sword maiden of the blood god. You'll be on guard now, aren't you? Yeah. Mistress of skulls. All right, let's take Hargeneth. The Close victory. Not going to lose anybody. Spare none. Do it. This one um, we could raise. We could sack it and raise it. We've got plenty of souls right now. Don't necessarily need the money. Let's just get more souls. Burn raise it. it all. Brutes of the Hound, Marauder Berserkers. I don't think I'll bother with them, to be Carnets honest. Awakened. Can I force march back into my own territory or regular march into it? Move! We must not cease. Throw that in there. Never. Making victory. How many settlements have they got left? Two. Blood Queen. Noble of Nagaroth. Norska. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The longships are ready. They've got five regions. They're doing pretty well. Fearless and unbreakable. Haven't seen their armies march against, so I'm guessing they are busy with the Ripperhorn tribe, Clan Septic. That'll be all around here as well. Nagarond is exploding on out. Strength tank two. <laughs> yeah, we will take you out before we push too far. I, think I just think I just want to sort out the egg hole and then we'll, we'll kind of come back. Bringer of glory. Can't think about another army just yet. Um, Sword Maiden of Corn. She gets demonic. Physical resistance does not rout. Is immune to terror. Takes damage when leadership is low. But she gets gore fest. Or feast. 
heal per second enabled if in melee permanently but then yeah demonic so she can that means she'll crumble right do it i relish such power consort of corn Unmoving Mage, Spell Slinger, or Warrior Wizard. Definitely should be Warrior Wizard if you're with us here with Corn. No other way about it, mate. I like that you've got all these these different ones that lock. Different options to kind of spec your spec your mages into. Do you want them to be kind of more pure mages, or do you want them to be warrior warrior mages? I was about to say warrior wizards. <laughs> Um, yeah, warrior wizard or true and proper mage gives you magical attacks as well. Minus leadership, minus unity. No, I don't want undivided authority. Yeah, probably ruinous wrath that makes the most sense for uh, some corn fun. Good. Now, Commandment available, we can have over here because they've got the whole province. Um, it's not quite corny enough for my liking, so. Full corn, please. That's full corn now. So we want to go for construction cost reduction. Reforged for murder. No, you'll have death, Helebron. Death is all I'm willing to give you. That in itself is a mercy. Iron Frost. Highly devoted. Massive gains. Province. Uh, development point. Okay. Growth. Allegiance or blood and toil. Destruction cost for all buildings. Faction wide. So I, it's interesting actually you get all these dilemmas of do you want to help out your vassals or not. Um, I'm 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 gonna yeah I'm gonna let, let them flourish. There will always be blood. Path of glory unlocked. Nice. So we got chaos assassin. Critical success. Boom. That completes our mission as well. We got the sword of might. Exalted hero of corn. Sword made the blood god. Give her that for all weapon strength. Karnath's exalted one. Well done. Hail and yeah, your path to glory. Wolf. Assassinate units, additional 15% success chance, and assault units, additional 15% casualties inflicted. Lovely. The Gore Queen. With my absolute word. So yeah, you guys can manage. move along here and grab that. I would have been able to issue the command because only if you hold, have the Prince of Capital or all of them. I oh, know we've got caught up there as well. That's been taken. Mistress of Skulls. That's fine. But yeah, that didn't have a building Carnage in that we wanted. Awakened. So, uh, if we jump in. Jump Paint in here. The walls in blood. Basically, move on next turn. Blood Christ. We got anything in there that we want right now? Showing up. Not really. God, that their melee attack's disgusting, isn't it? I was born in such conditions. Oh yeah, have we got anyone we can upgrade now? Of glory. Four, five, 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 five. Okay. Only the strong survive here. Ah, Nagarond attacking the Mung. Okay. Or oh, Nagarond now. Only a matter of time. Okay. So we've got to break Malekith. I think our plans for the Ag Hole might have to wait a little bit. But I need to probably deal with Harganet. Or oh, we take the piece out with her. Karan Kara being obliterated. Ah, uh, there's Grom Brindle. 
You are mistaken. Ruff! Grumble and talk if you must. Celebron, flee. You can but get you peace with her. To do so. She's at war with Nagarond as well. So I could probably peace out with her so I could turn around and focus on Nagarond right now. Oh, Aletha Nars just moved up here. There was only vengeance. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's moving into another province. Mun will take that. Burden of the Shadowlands. Last thing we want is him coming after us as well. Who is Aletha Nars of the just Shadowlands. at war with oh, the Drowned? Speak. Mother I think we'll peace out with Helebron. We'll push through and finish her off later. Because I mean, how many more territories? It's got two. Where's the other one? Nagra, which will be like, over here. And I'm pretty sure the Frozen City. Oh, that should be. Frozen City should be up here, shouldn't it? Yeah. The Nagra must be down here. Reforged for murder. Northmen come. Just thinking if we turn around quickly, we can break these guys while Malekith's busy yes. with all his various enemies that he's got. But then does that also buy us time? He's probably pushing down here, isn't he? Does that buy us enough time to finish off Helebron? Embrace the cold. Not showing up just yet. Your words will seal the fate of your get much people. out of it. I am... There will always be blood. Gonna push. Glory in bloodshed. Hell, everyone's building up our army. That's fine. Jump on her while she's weakened. Should bleed. Fighting is what she, they shall Back on suffer. in. Yeah, let's, fi let's finish her off. Then we'll turn back round. They're going for that. Then we can tell them to come back and defend the chill road. Like a savage animal. Okay. You've made your move, Malekith. And also, we've got Grumbrindle to deal with. We need to go save the Mung from them as well. Lots of angry Dowie and Dark Elves around. Isn't it always the way? Hole moving down here. Where are they going? Northmen come. Ah, they're a vassal of the decadent host. Interesting. Oh, yeah, because they hold the. Yeah, because Sigvald will have the same mechanic. Right, so I can rip them off them, though. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have. Crimson Skull. Okay. We've now got. Yeah, Skulls to Skull throwing research. Lovely. Uh, bloody summon some from beyond. Actually, there's army. That's army ability. That's quite nice. Honed blades. Passive ability. Rage for all dual axe units, rank four and above. That's cool. I I really like how they've done this the technology and, and abilities unlocking with higher ranks for units as well. Good sense of kind of progression. I like that. Um, uh, unit experience gain from Marauder Horseman and Right of Ascension. For chosen, yes. Yeah, so we want to go up towards that. Let's get that done. We exult in this strength. Valkyr, let's attack that army and hope that they stay put so we can draw them all out. We're going to lose one of our marauders, which means it's time to bash in a crone once more. How's our bloodletting going as well? Increase a little bit more. You experience corn units, lovely. In we go. Okay, they're coming in from that little gap over there. That's good. We'll send uh, Tim the bloody enchanter over there. Get ready to burn them all as they enter. In fact, we'll send our whole army over there. Val 
Dodgy and the bloody. At least we start closer to them as well. At your command. Send them all that way. This is a uh, uh, Bellicor's wet dream, though, of them coming in all bunched up like that with a pit of shades. Actually, yeah, they're really going to come in bunch because they're trapped between these little camp buildings here, which I think will be won't will block their pathfinding. Lock them in place with the halberds and the chaos warriors. Then charge on in with the marauders. Can't wait to see the uh, the chosen variant as well. The dual axes, they're great. Right, I forgot anything else. Cavalry's back here. Yeah, thanks for that. That's the uh, explosion. Wrath of Corn. And we will await reinforcements. Because we want to draw them all out rather than fighting them in a settlement. She's dead. <laughs> she just kicked her head off. <laughs> or speared it off. Hold on, Valkyrie. Move out, Chaos Sorcerer. Any second. Bloodletting. Marauders of Court. Seeking torment. Carnage moves. Wolf Father's Warriors! Axe Father's Marauders! Spread corruption! Set by Khan! Yes! Insane damage. Witness my strength. Chaos is magic. <laughs> Get the rest of them in here. Marauders of court. In with the cavalry. Let there be chaos. It is done. We can get the dragon ogre back, actually. Hellebron taking you out or getting wrecked by the archers. Burning head. Oh, look, look at them all come in. It's going to be maximum damage, I think, through there. Burn them all. Taking action. Act father demands. Slaughter personified. Follow the blood. Orders pull back. <sighs> Moving. Buff everybody up. Shield maiden. Of 
for Valkyrie! Soft and hero of God. Give me glory. Yeah, Hellebron's going down. Probably should have waited for them to get in a little bit more so we could have um, encircled them because they're just going to break straight off the back of the map, aren't they? There we go. Try and trap him. That's the skull crushers. Hadn't got enough for the blade of corn explosion. Well, you guys took a pounding. Take out as many of them as you can. Dragon Ogre in there. I reckon we're going to end up losing him at some point. Maybe on a quest battle. But at the moment, he's allowing us to siege attack, so we don't have to slow down. So we'll keep it for now. Not worry too much. I think we're still killing off some of these guys. Lost them fleeing the bloody battlefield. Munched. Those bleak swords are going to be dead anyway. Boom. Lovely stuff. So, 228 losses. Skull crushers, the knights of the uh, uh, brazen throne. They got a load of good kills. Marauders, dual axes. Pretty decent. Uh, still got quite a few remaining from Harami because yeah, I could have retreated back on through. I might actually need to fight the settlement now. Probably should have. Probably, well, and if you take the order result, we'd lost a Marauder unit. Might have to go in and fight this next one as well. We need to be careful of the Halberds, though. Plenty of other infantry we can just throw into the mix. Finish them. And good number of souls. I think I'm actually going to take a little bit of replenishment there just to top us up a smidge. Because right now, that soul game can't use it for anything else. I am your master now. Ooh, no. We're good. We're not going to lose anyone. Nice. Spare none. Lovely. And we want to occupy this one. Corn dominates here. Lovely. Tormentor's sword. Ooh, lovely. And there we go. We've got the Scarlet Armor. Beautiful. So that drops enemies' base weapon damage and their arm piercing damage. That intensity increased with each kill made by the unit. Lovely. Ward save, corn corruption. Beautiful. Valkyr right. the bloody. A frozen city, yet yeah, that's what vassalizes the ag called. But I, I want to take that dark fortress from them as well. So I think we need to we'll peep, well we'll chill here. Let's hope the decadent host Bring ruin. Mm, you might turn on us. Avert your eyes, grotesquerie. I forbid you to look upon this beautiful visage. Thanks, Sigbald. But yeah, we got bigger fish to fry. So we'll chill here. We'll take that one. We'll take that. We'll actually take that settlement as well, because it's got wood. Obsidian is missile strength. So yeah, Valkyrie just needs to march on over there. And take Nagra. Sword maiden of the blood god. And then we will before we take the frozen city, we'll need to take the Palace of Ruin first from the Ag Hole. Because that's a Hmong homeland. 
then we can take the Frozen City because we want both of those Dark Fortresses. But by taking the Frozen City, as long as we don't take any of the other stuff they've got over here, um, they'll vassalize to us. I mean, how many how many regions does the Ag Hole actually have? Five. I mean, so if we had to take all of those, if we, for whatever reason, had to, that's still fine. Still fine. My fellow uh, I don't want to get trade though because Do I think I'll lose. I'll lose reliability when I go after Frenzy, although not that I really need to worry about that too much, but sometimes it's useful to have. No. Right, so they pull some forces back there. The goddess forbids it. Okay, Grom Brindle is chilling up here. I will not. Hoping he's busy with the rats. Northman come. I'm going to tell you to defend. Oh, no. I can't, you know, you defend my regions. Oh, that's cute, though. It's nice. Uh, I kind of want you to attack. Uh, you go attack that one. Go over there. Wait till them to get lost. Catch woman. Uh, Valkyr, we will spend your skill points as well for Tim and for Cormac at the start of the next episode. We'll also go through and add in names for those marauders that we've added in uh, this episode. So yeah, keep those unique name suggestions coming over on part one. That's where we're going to wrap things up for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, take Branch of the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. For the next one, ciao for now.